I am Natalie for FriendlyDrupal.com and today we're going to be talking about my favorite tool for administering Drupal websites called Drush, also known as Drupal Shell. And yes, it's a command line utility, so it might seem a bit intimidating at first, especially if you're not very used to the command line interface. But it will make your life so much easier and common admin tasks so much simpler and faster. It's really worth spending a few moments of your time on um, installing it and um, getting to know at least some basic commands. And that's what we'll be doing in this screencast. And so to download Drush, you go to the Drush page at drupal.org and um, we're going to be downloading the stable version and it works for all Drupal versions regardless whether it's Drupal 5 or 6 or Drupal 7. I'm going to save it on documents. or you can use the command line interface to download it. Let's unpack it. So now it's going to be in your home directory. So if we go to the Drush directory, we can open the readme file. Where you can see more instructions on installation. So we are done with step one. Let's do step two. And step three will be creating a sim link to to be able to use to make using Drush commands easier. So first of all, let's make Drush executable. And now let's create a sim link. Now we can check if Drush is actually working and I'm going to go to my Drupal site and I'm going to type Drush status and it's a pretty useful Drush command. It's going to show you the um, information about uh, your system in general and also uh, the current Drupal site. Also I'm using um, Ubuntu 10 uh, Lucid here and I've come across this warning about PHP comments deprecated and um, it's not a showstopper but it's somewhat annoying because it's gonna pop up every time you use Drush command and getting rid of it is actually pretty simple. So the culprit here is uh, my um, ini file. So let's open it and change the offending character. We're going to replace the pound sign with the semicolon, like this. Save it, close it, and let's um, restart Apache. Now it should be gone, so we can check it by running cron, for example. 
Okay, great. If you'd like to see the list of all available commands in Drush, you can go to the Drush page documentation on Drupal.org or you can simply run Drush help. And every command also has its own help menu. For example, it can also have examples of usage as well. And just for information, additional modules can um, have their own Drush commands and they're going to appear in the help if you have them installed. Some of the commands have shorter versions available and you can see them all here as well. In my experience, some of the most popular or widely used Drush commands are those related to installing modules and themes. So let's explore them further. Downloading uh, modules or themes is as easy as typing Drush DL, uh, which is um, short for download, and your project name. Let's say you want to download Val module. And uh, you have a confirmation that Drush has downloaded Devel into the All Modules directory. Now I need to enable it, and again, it's very simple. And hit Yes if you want to continue. And now Devel is enabled. You can also download and install several projects at one time. For example, I would like to download CK and Design. And um, as you can see, Drush is pretty smart. It knows that modules go to the module directory and themes go to themes directory. Now I can try enabling them. And I'm getting an error, and that's because there is no module called CCK. If you remember, if you've ever installed CCK, you know it consists of several modules, and the, my, the main one is the content. And, well, let's say I don't remember that. I can use another Drush command to help me out. I'm going to type Drush SM. And it's going to show all modules and themes installed and whether they're enabled or not. And they, uh, it also shows the package here. So you can see all CCK modules. And I want to enable content and um, text and something else. doesn't really matter. So it shows both the name and the machine readable name. So we need the machine name. It's also pretty good at reading dependencies for different modules. By default, Drush downloads the most current stable version of the project. But sometimes you want to download the previous versions or maybe even the development version of the project. For example, I, I would like to download the development version for panels. And first of all, I want to see what releases are actually available for this project. So I'm going to type Drush PM releases panels. And I can see the development version right here. And that's what I'm going to be downloading then. Simply type Drush DL panels dash six.
To disable a module, type drive this and the project name. And then you can also uninstall it, which is going to delete the tables from the database, if there are any. Then I will type drush uninstall devel. And of course you can use the same commands on the Drupal core optional modules. Finally, Drush can update module themes and uh, core Drupal for you. And again, it's as simple as typing Drush up, which is shortened for update, obviously. As you can see, my Drupal core is one version behind, and if I hit yes here, um, the update command is going to update both the code base and the database, if there are any updates for it. I'm going to hit no to show you that there are actually two separate commands that allow you to update code base and database separately. So we can run drush update code. So it will show you the confirmation message for the updated projects and Drush even saves backups in case you want to go back. If I type update database It's not going to run any because there are no database updates, but otherwise um, it should produce a warning to remind you to update your database as well. As you can see, Drush allows you to administer your website without even opening the admin page of your site or going to Drupal.org to download projects. So give it a try and um, I'll be exploring more of Drush with the future lessons with such things as using Drush with CVS and aliases and uh, multi-site install, maybe remote administration as well. There's a lot to Drush and um, good luck with your Drupal endeavors.